Hello, Oliver. Hi. Show me your Paw Patrol toys. And I got water too. Oh, wow. Which one is the blue one? Um, it, these are two blue ones. And and this is Mighty Chase and an underwater Chase. And did you get Ryder? Mm-hmm. And a Dino Marshall. And a Dino Marshall? Yeah. Show everybody Ryder. Whoa. Where did you get all these from? Um, the toy set. From the flea market? Yeah. And it has, um... A corn and the swords and the bunkies and toys. And did you buy them with your own money? Yeah, and we and, and next time I will get Marshall's fire truck next time. You've gotten a lot of toys lately. Yeah, and I got a dino one. You got a dino rubble bulldozer? Yeah. Whoa. And did you get a little Duplo marble roll? Yeah. Did you know every single week we film this, you get a new toy? Yeah. You're a lucky kid. Yeah. Okay, Oliver, what happened this week? Um, the storm scared me, and I was crying. Because of the storm? Mm-hmm. Was it a big one? Yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell us? Yeah. What? Um, I, I got to the pool up there, and I was scaring you. And we, and we play water tag. We did play water tag in the pool this week. Mm -hmm. You like swimming a lot this summer. Yeah, huh? next, we want to do water um, pool next week again. Yeah, that's true. Because it's so hot, huh? Mm -hmm. Anything funny you want to tell us? Yeah, um, the trees are funny and the clouds and my bike and, and the walking ship poked and this box it's good like that good job thank you <laughs> you always ask me about the shed so i'm gonna ask okay. you this time how the shed go this week we did lots of stuff on the shed but it seemed like not a lot because it wasn't very hard just kind of was like time consuming. If you look at the shed, you can now see trim and also a door. And also you might not be able to see, but there's stuff underneath the roof that I can't remember what it's called. And on the other side too. And the door was pretty hard. That was scary. Christian got a little bit <laughs> grumpy. Yeah, because I was holding it and Christian was trying to get the right measurements so that was a little bit scary but now it works great huh tell me about the olympics the olympics started this week on friday in paris the opening ceremony was very interesting a little chaotic but there were a lot of really cool parts i mean I've actually i feel like i've watched more than normal we bought a peacock subscription for a month to watch the olympics i know that women's rugby won usa and we also won like synchronized diving, I think. It's really fun to watch. Tell me about work. This is my last week at home with no work because I work from home. So next week on Monday, this little guy will go to daycare. He'll be six months old. I will start work again and I'm not very excited. <laughs> it's been really nice to be off. Yeah. And Emmett's doing so much better now, sleep training, except for today because he did not get a nap until <laughs> just barely. That's his I'm tired. Put me to bed. <laughs> okay, Oliver's going to interview me today. Say, tell me about the flea market. Flea market? It was so fun. No, no, you have to ask me. You're interviewing me. Um, Daddy, talk about the flea market. Oh, the flea market? Mm -hmm. So, Oliver and I went to the flea market on Saturday, which was yesterday. And we had a lot of fun. It was very, very busy, and there were a lot of Paw Patrol toys there. And I did find some Legos, which is what I'm always looking for when I go to the flea market. And I also found another drill, and I'll talk about that later. Talk about um, service. Customer service? Yeah. So I had two different customer service experiences this week. One has been going on with Xfinity Mobile, and it's been a four-month issue. 
So that is the bad side of customer service. They have been very, 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 very difficult to work with. In fact, some of my interactions have been my worst customer service interactions I've ever had in my entire life. This week, I finally got it resolved through corporate, so I'm gonna stay with Xfinity, but I give them zero stars for their systems being terrible. My good customer service is Craftman, which is the drill that I just got from the flea market. I purchased a drill for a good price and the battery was dead, so I tried to charge it and it wouldn't charge. And so I called customer service and I said, hey, is there anything I can do to fix this? And they said, give us the SKU, give us the manufacturing date. And it was one month past warranty. And they said, we'll ship you a new one anyway. The battery that you need is not in stock. So we're going to send you a battery twice as big instead. For a drill that I bought at a flea market, Craftman sending me a brand new humongous battery for free, no questions asked. They get 10 out of 10 stars for customer service. I'm asked. What about your shoes? About my shoes? Yeah. Well, today I'm wearing sandals and we leave these sandals on the back porch so that when we go outside, we can quickly slip them on and go hook Sunny up when she needs to go to the bathroom and then we can take them off on the back porch and go inside. So they are our back porch sandals. I'm asked about your shirt. My shirt? Yeah. This is a shirt from the company I work at and this is a pickleball court. I sourced this shirt from a factory in Pakistan. It's 100% cotton, and a member of my team came up with the original artwork, but I put it on the art file for this shirt, and these are just barely in stock at Gamma, so yeah, this is my product, essentially. <laughs> Did I want to talk about your your pants too. Oh, my pants? These are just shorts, uh, basketball shorts that I've had for a long time. Okay, thank you, Ollie. Thanks. <laughs>